Well, I think Yesu took uh, having a uh, VHF UHF transverter pretty seriously. Um, they let you meter the ALC or the uh, output. They let you uh, select ALC for AM or for sideband and CW. Apparently you can uh, select for an external receiver or a transceiver. Uh, they've got uh, a frequency shift for uh, a simplex operation. Uh, you get uh, tuning and uh, band uh, band segment selection. and RF gain for the receiver. Uh, <clears throat> look at the ports on the back because it's uh, unconventional by typical standards. This was meant to be plug and play with a, an FT-707 I guess. So here you've got a 1 milliwatt 10 meter input. Uh, you don't drive it with any more. You hooked your HF antenna up to this and it looped back out uh, to your HF transceiver here. And then on the front panel you uh, selected uh, whether or not it was going to be straight through for the HF function or uh, through the, uh, the transverter. And here's your 2 meter antenna receive and transmit. So they had <coughs> modules that uh, plugged into this thing. This is the uh, the 2 meter one but apparently there's also one for 432, 440. Okay, what I've got right now is my little uh, 10 meter rig uh, hooked up to the HF antenna directly. Uh, I've got the RF gain turned down so it won't transmit and uh, power on low and the, R and the audio gain all the way down so it won't transmit. So it's working on 10 meters. So what I'll do now is shift the HF antenna over to the transverter and the out, run the output of the transverter over to the 10 meter rig and make sure that that is all working. <coughs> okay, this uh, little jumper here goes from the output of the transverter to the uh, Coax connect the antenna connector on the uh, 10 meter rig, all mode rig, and there's no power to the transverter, so I'm assuming that the default uh, situation is to loop the HF antenna uh, through. Six pictures all problem. Thank you. That seems to be true. So now we've got the HF antenna looping through the transverter to the uh, 10 meter rig. So what I'll do now is I'll power up the transverter and uh, I've got the 2 meter antenna uh, connected to the transverter and see if we can hear 2 meter signals. Transmission just so I can uh, make another little video here to show that the thing works. WA6FUL, W6WH. Yeah, no problem. Just WA6FUL, W6WH. With 
So there we go. <clears throat> That's Simplex uh, talking to a station about uh, 15 miles away. And uh, I've got the preamp on my uh, Tokyo High Power amplifier uh, in line. And uh, without that preamp, I had to run the uh, RF gain on this transverter up to um, about seven or eight. Uh, for him to be a uh, good copy. Uh, if I had it down lower than that, I didn't really hear him much. Uh, with 6 dB of preamp, uh, uh, the RF gain goes down to, uh, uh, you know, 3 or 4, and with uh, 15 dB of preamp, uh, it goes down to, you know, like 1 or something. So. Uh, uh, it obviously, uh, the preamp perks up the receiver uh, quite a bit, but uh, uh, when you run the RF gate up uh, uh, a good ways, it's uh, got adequate sensitivity. So I just turned off the uh, turned off the preamp, and you see with the gain up all the way, that won't open that squelch at that setting. So let's turn this all the way down. Minimal, minimal setting on the squelch. You can see that the RF gain is coming up quite a bit. So let's put it on the HF for a minute. And That's the setting for 10 meter noise. That's the setting for 2 meter noise with the RF gain all the way down. So, uh, <laughs> never did get there. So, it's got quite a bit of gain. And a, a wide, a wide variation of RF gain. So uh, that's a that's a good thing. Uh, makes me think that they uh, they really built themselves a uh, a good transverter here, and not a not a, a piece of junk. So I'm thinking that this will be a. Uh, a good alternative to a Ukrainian transverter uh, when used in conjunction with the uh, the uh, low noise preamp in the uh, in the uh, Tokyo high power amplifier. So I guess we can go. We're on 146.52. Okay. Turn off the preamp on the thing here. So we're using the uh, uh, FT817 on the uh, lowest power setting, and it's still uh, beating the heck out of this receiver. Six 
So anyway, it's uh, working on sideband, it's working on FM simplex, uh, it's working, working, working. Um, but uh, put in 6 dB of preamp. That's about 15 dB of preamp, I guess. So a wide range of gain uh, settings available. <clears throat> and of course you push this button and you're back on 10 meters. So the receiver part of it is certainly uh, working and working well. So now we've got a got a way to uh, get one milliwatt of 10 meter drive into it, and uh, quite sure how we're going to do that yet. Uh, we've got an attenuator board uh, that uh, uh, Dave up in Clear Lake sent me this attenuator board. So I think we'll try to use that attenuator board um, and uh, if we can get the uh, FT450 down to 5 watts output I'd like to get more like 1 watt of output and run that into the attenuator board but somehow or another we'll get some uh, get some drive for this thing and uh, try it out I guess the uh, maybe the FT817 is the uh, is the answer we'll uh, uh, I guess we can get the uh, the 10 meter uh, output on it down to uh, half a watt or something and use the attenuator board and uh, be able to do that. So uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll use a uh, separate receiver and a transmitter and uh, we can test it that way. Okay, now what we've done is... Uh, <laughs> We've taken the antenna off of the uh, transporter to keep from overloading the front end of it. Reduced the RF gain on the uh, 10 meter rig. And uh, now we can show that it works pretty well. Uh, hello, hello, hello. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I think anything... Uh, deficiencies here now uh, may have to do with uh, uh, the uh, HTX-10. Uh, you have to use the fine tuning on it, the RIT, to uh, tune it in. And, uh, it still uh, doesn't seem to be the best thing in the world. Not sure how stable it actually is. It will one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, but this seems to be a about the best we can do. Hello, one, two. W6, W, UH. So, that's uh, between the audio feedback and the overloading of the front end and the, uh, um, the vagaries of the HDX10. This seems to be uh, what we've got. It's, I can hear it drifting a little bit. But I'd have to get, put this on a different receiver. Um, that I trust a little more than this HTX-10 uh, to see uh, uh, if there's uh, instability in the uh, transferter or in the HTX-10, but I, I suspect it's the HTX-10. So we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it with another receiver that's, uh, that's better than this and see what